racemose inflorescence with sessile flowers. They are of the following types. 1. Simple spike. 2. Compound spike. 3. Catkin. 4. Simple spadix. 5. Compound spadix. 6. Head or capitulum or anthodium. And 7. Compound head. Let us study them one by one. Simple spike. The peduncle is unbranched and grow indefinitely. Flowers are sessile, bracteate arranged acropitally on the peduncle. Examples Acaranthus, Amaranthus, Compound spike. The peduncle is branched and grows indefinitely. The branches are called spikelets. It is the characteristic feature of the family Poaceae and Oryza. Examples Tritacum, Catkin. The peduncle is long, weak, and drooping. Flowers are sessile. Unisexual develop acropitally on the peduncle. It is a spike like inflorescence. It is found in the family Amantiferia. So it is often called Amentum. And a califa. Examples Casuarina. Simple spadix. The peduncle is fleshy, unbranched. Flowers are sessile, bracteates, unisexual develop acropitally on the peduncle. On the peduncle, female flowers are present at the base, male flowers are at the top, and neutral flowers are present in between the male and female flowers. The terminal part of the peduncle is flowerless. It is called appendix. In this, one of the bracts is modified into a thick leathery structure called spathe. Spathe covers the entire inflorescence. Compound spadix. Peduncle is branched. The branches show many sessile, unisexual flowers in a carpetal manner. Female flowers are developed at the base and male flowers are at the apex. Cocos nucifera. Entire inflorescence is covered by hard, woody boat like spathe. Musa paradisiac. Each branch is covered by a leathery spathe. The entire inflorescence is also covered by spathe. Head or capitulum or anthodium. It is the highly evolved inflorescence among the racemose inflorescence. It is mainly seen in the Asterasia family. The peduncle is condensed into a flattened disc called receptacle. Flower are small and reduced called florets. Florets are sessile, bracteate, and arranged on the peduncle in centripetal manner. The entire inflorescence is covered and protected by involucre of bracts. Florets are two types, namely a. ray florets and 2. disc florets. The characters of ray and disc florets are ray florets, disc florets. 1. These are unisexual. 1. These are bisexual. 2. These are incomplete. 2. These are complete. 3. These are zygomorphic. 3. These are actinomorphic. 
4. They contain ligulate corolla. 4. They contain tubular corolla. 5. They are sterile. 5. They are fertile. 6. They provide attraction to the inflorescence. 6. They involve in reproduction. 7. They are called ligulate florets. 7. They are also called tube florets. Depending upon the type of florets present, the head inflorescence is of two types. Homogamous head. It produces only one type of florets. Example, Vernonia. Heterogamous head. It produces both the ray and disc florets. Example, Tridax and Helianthus. Compound head. Peduncle is branched. Each branch bears a simple head. Example, Echinops, Spheranthus.